Today, we're going to look at using a collaborative robot vacuum with the Orbo i5. Once the vacuum has been connected to the robot, go into Settings on the top tab. Then go into User I.O. on the left. In here you can read the status of the inputs and control the outputs. We've got the vacuum connected to output 0 and the blow connected to output 1. By clicking on the output and then sending a command at the bottom, you can turn the vacuum or the blow on manually. <laughs> When you send a command to the vacuum, you can hear the effects. If we want to add the vacuum to the robot program, we can use the set function. Make sure that add after is selected. This is under the basic conditions on the left. We then click the set button and it will be added to the program tree. Click it here to open up the settings. Here we can adjust parameters. We want to set the vacuum high, so we set output 0 and we set it to high and then click confirm. This will then turn on the vacuum. At the end of the program, we want to turn the vacuum off but also turn the blow on, so we need to add two more sets. In the first one, we need to set D0 to low. This will turn the vacuum off. Confirm this and then add the second set. We then add D1 to high. This will turn the blow on and release the object. Click confirm and then this will be added to the program as well. And now the program is ready to run. And that's how easy it is to use the collaborative robot vacuum with the Orbo i5.